Hi there. Let's take a look at how to use the online library at University of Pacific. Here I am on the library's main page. I get to this page by simply going to pacific.edu and then selecting the library from the menu bar at the top of the screen. Or you can go ahead and type in this web address, so pacific.edu uh, backslash university hyphen libraries.html. I can start a search right here, or I can talk live to a librarian through text, or I can simply start my research down here, which is where I'm going to show you to go today. We have a lot of different options here, including printed books and e-journals, but I personally like to just start by going to database. Now, we have 153 different databases online at the library. So I'm just gonna start over here, Academic Search Complete. Um, again, I could go to all different sorts of databases. For example, if I'm an education ma major, maybe I wanna simply go to the Chronicle of Higher Education, or maybe I wanna do something like Access Engineering, depending on my field. But a general one is this Academic Search. And I believe this is gonna to go to EBSCO. So it'll first ask you for your login information. So what is your name and what is your ID number? We're gonna submit and it should pop up. There it is, it is EBSCO. So I can do any type of keywords here. I can specifically look for an author or a title, but I'm just gonna leave it blank and I'm going to do a search. So let's think of something like, um, Education online, since we're in a virtual setting right now. And I'm going to search, and there are a ton of resources for me, right? I have 19,780 different sources to look through, which is a lot. So I'm gonna be a little bit more specific. I'm going to limit my search to full text. I really don't wanna just see abstracts. I don't wanna see summaries. I would like the full text to look through. I also don't want things that were published in 1978. Some of your professors might want things that are only five years old. So you can go ahead and use this bar to make um, a more specific search on dates. I think I'll stop at 2005. Now here's the big one. Most academic writings are going to ask for academic journals. These are peer reviewed journals. So I'm gonna click there. Now I've got new articles, they're peer reviewed in academic journals, and they have full text. So my search is updating and hopefully we'll see a lot less than 19,000 to choose from. Notice while this is searching, I have things like magazines, newspapers, etc., that I can look through if I didn't want peer reviewed journals. Okay, so we went from 19,000 to just under 13,000, still probably too many for me to look through. But what I do when I'm doing a search is I just quickly look at the titles and look to make sure there is a PDF full text, even though we did check on the full text here. Um, sometimes you'll see a web version, which is okay as well. But personally, I like the PDFs, and then I can save them to my computer, and um, it's simple for me. But I'm gonna go ahead and look, study habits and learning experiences of undergraduate students in a physical education major online. So that's interesting. How to get published in a peer reviewed journal. Quality of life. Oh, interesting. Students with learning disabilities. Teaching and e-learning. I like that, that sounds good. Okay, so I'm a teacher and this might be something that I could use in my own research. So again, here's an HTML version, but I personally like the PDF, so I'm gonna click there to open up the full document and open. Okay, so now I have opened the PDF on my computer and Again, I personally like to save it, so save as, and then I have a version saved on my computer so that I don't lose it and have to go back to the search later. However, I also wanna show you something fantastic. Right here, uh, the page is technically open. You see this little, it looks like a piece of paper with text on it. If you hover over it, it will say cite. Click there, and it'll give you all different types of citation styles. Perhaps you're using APA citation. Maybe you're using MLA citation. Maybe you're using Chicago, right? All the citation styles are here for you 
simply to copy and paste into your reference list when you're doing um, your paper. So great way to find sources, great way to get citations already done for you. And now you have that paper saved on your computer. All right, so hopefully that helped you. And if you have any questions, you're welcome to contact me.